Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today is still Monday, the 24th of June, 2013, and I still want to encourage you to go to the big MGB event, MG 2013, in Corvallis, Washington, 17 through 21 July. Hey, this is the T-type water pump. So, we've had this TD for, I don't know, long time, six months. Came to us, it was real tough. Kurtz put a new interior in it. It's beautiful. It came to us, it was really, really tough. We sent it down the street, we got it buffed out, it looks nice. Um, we put, oh, 300 miles on it, 350 miles on it. Somewhere between 350 and 400 miles, we're driving it to make sure that if it fails, it doesn't fail on the customer on the way home, and poop, out comes a, a freeze plug, okay? But we'll show you that, that in a minute. So while Kurt was down here doing, you know, taking the manifold and off and everything to get to the freeze plug, he happens to touch the cooling fan and jiggle, jiggle, the cooling fan is loose. So we decide it's a good time since the cooling system's all, all apart and everything's all off the side of the engine. Good time to change the water pump. Kurt puts the water pump on and has to grind away a little extra boss on the new water pump to fit a little bracket for the engine stabilizer, but he can only draw this new pump up uh, to a sixteenth of an inch away from the engine block because there's a little too much metal down here at the bottom on the new pumps. So just a word of caution when you're fitting a new T-type water pump, push it on by hand first and make sure it goes all the way on. Because if you put all the bolts on it and draw it all down and it stops, then you just got to undo all those bolts and take it all the way back off. Ho hopefully it can save you a little bit of time. Dayton's going to come around the other side here and we're going to show you what we've done with the freeze plugs. So the T-types have got, you know, the, the engine, the uh, T-type engine's metric. And these freeze plugs are all metric, although one and three-eighths is a perfect fit for the small ones. The large one is, is a metric size, which is unavailable from Napa. You've got to buy it from uh, one of the big suppliers. Freeze plugs also come in brass, uh, offered by Tom Lange in, in uh, Maine. So that, those are a real good deal. Those won't rust from the inside out. Now, but after you put the freeze plugs in, then mix up some JB Weld, you can see it here, and smear it in the cavity between the, the cylinder and the edge of the, of the freeze plug. And that will keep the freeze plugs from popping back out. Oh, it's so frustrating. One of, the, one of our local people had a freeze plug pop out um, coming back from the MGA meet in, help me out, Asheville two weeks ago. We had a customer pick up his TF last week. He got to, I don't know, Kalamazoo, driving it home down to Indiana, and out came a freeze plug. So when you have your engine stripped down, when you're changing freeze plugs, you have a chance to get to them, smear JB Weld around the outside and that'll help, help them from popping out. Hey, hope to see you in Oregon, safety fast. <laughs>